Yo, what's up guys? So, I was taking a look at the new 2020 release for Polaris. And it's not crazy by any means, but the release I still think is awesome. So, so far this year, it looks like they came out with a couple different models this year, new models, and they actually took away a couple models. Um, so the models that they added was an RMK Evo. So the little Evo um, that they had that they released last year, um, they ended up coming out with the RMK style of that, which I'll uh, explain later in the video. Then next, they came out with an RMK Chaos, which is uh, a 155 and built just for the mountains. Next, they released an Indy XCR, and that is a 128. Well, 129, but the showing it's a 128 track, so I'm not sure if that was a misprint or what, but it says that it's an Indy XCR 129. They also released an Indy XC 137, 40th anniversary this year also. And last but not least, um, they took away the XCR in the Pro S Rush models. So there will no longer be the XCR in that model. It's only going to be uh, the longer track XCR in the switchback models. The color combos this year are on point in my opinion. Um, they're definitely, definitely really sick, especially the Chaos. I love the color combo they have on the Chaos. It looks amazing. Um, the SKS and the Assault also have good color combos. Um, and then the 40th anniversary combo looks pretty sick too. So um, I'm going to take down these new models and I'm going to break them down into their own categories and tell you a little bit about each one and why they have it. Um, Actually, I also forgot one. They also have a 600 RMK 144. Uh, it's a base model. You can't do anything to it. Um, so I'm not sure what the group is going to be for that. But it does look pretty sick. Um, I think it's for a smaller rider who wants to also go in the mountains. Uh, they don't have a bigger sled to throw around. So I'm not sure what they are doing with that. But that's definitely interesting that they have a, it's a 600 RMK with a 144 and a 2 inch paddle. So. so for the RMK Evo, they came out with this for the smaller rider. Um, it still is limited to 50 miles an hour and you can buy an accessory to make it go faster later on when the rider feels more confident more skilled um, it comes with a 144 1.75 back country track and this basically is for someone who wants to trail ride but also wants to be able to get in the deep snow and not just get stuck everywhere they're gonna be able to hold their own on the off trail and still have a good on-trail capability. So it's interesting that they came out with that, but I think there is going to be a market for that, especially a smaller female rider, or even a small male rider, or even just a younger kid, like a you know, 12, 13-year-old that wants to follow his dad into the deep stuff. So I think it's interesting, but it's awesome. Next is going to be the RMK Chaos. This was built just for the mountains, and it comes with velocity shocks. Uh, it's best in various mountain conditions, plus it's light and rigid design with the Chaos rear sus in suspension, and it improves weight transfer. Uh, the reason why they built this sled is just more flickable. Um, you can go in anywhere. It's just better for transfers um, and also re-entries. Uh, they said this thing is a wheelie machine and it, it's nuts. Uh, I wish that I lived in an area where we had a little bit more deeper snow and more mountain riding because honestly, I think I would snow check this sled. The color combination on this sled looks amazing. Everything about the sled just piques my interest. Um, I think that this sled is gonna be a really, really big hit with the mountain guys and it well-deserved.
because if it lives up to what they're saying, it's going to be probably one of the best sleds on the mountain. Alright guys, so next is going to be the Indy XCR 129, and this has the race proven suspension, Walker Evans high and low adjustable shocks, and it also has a race ready brake system. Um, the rails, they are reinforced also to take the big bumps and jumps, and for any condition basically. Uh, this sled is built for the guys that want to ride super hard, just blast through the bumps, hit huge jumps, and go anywhere basically. Um, the sled is amazing in my opinion. I think if I didn't want to go off deep trail and go in the mountains that I would probably snow check this. If that's my cup of tea was just trails, big bumps, and jumps. Next is going to be the Indy XC 137 40th anniversary. This comes with the Pro CC rear suspension, Walken Evans piggyback needle shocks. This also can come with the 1.25 137, the 1 1.35 137, or the 1.5 137. Uh, this allows the, the sled to corner flat and it doesn't sacrifice the fun factor in that corner. The longer track is better for versatility, like off-trail capability, but also not losing the on-trail capability, especially cornering. It also, with the longer track, gives you more traction, which in the long run will help you, especially get off the line. More track on the ground, more service area equals more traction, and gonna get you going faster quicker which I'm excited to see how that handles especially on the lake what the top speed will be like the next sled that I want to talk about is going to be the SKS 146 850 um, this is going to come with the Walker Evans piggyback shocks it also is going to have an adjustable ski stance of 39 inches to 41 inches. This is going to help where if I want to do more on trail, then I'll keep it to a 41 ski stance so it's less tippy. Or if I'm planning on just doing mostly off trail all day, I can adjust the ski stance to 39 inches to make it more tippy and easier to side hill. It runs the IGX 146 rear suspension with a 2.25 paddle track. So this is the sled that I'm really thinking about snow checking. Uh, the color combo is pretty nice. I don't know if I want to go with the color panels combo similar to what I have this year or if I want to go with the all red color combo. Um, they both look sick. I don't know which one I want to go with though. So let me know what you guys think I should get. Should I get the all red or should I go with the same color combo that I have this year? It's a little different but still really similar. Um, the 850 will be a snow check exclusive still this year. So if you do not snow check an 850, you will not be able to get one. The only ones you'll be able to get are obviously the 600 and 800s that the dealers have um, and maybe a 550. So let me know you guys know what you guys think of the new 2020 lineup. Um, do you guys like it? Do you guys dislike it? What do you guys think? Uh, I think they didn't add a ton of stuff, but what they did add is definitely awesome and can be a game changer. So don't be afraid to comment down below and let me know what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and comment let me know how I'm doing. As always... I will see you guys in the next one.